Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. I took about a week and a half off. Sorry, I'm just lazy and old and you know, but here we are, we're back. We're gonna do an update of my community angelfish tank. Grab yourself a healthy stack and beverage. Stand by. <laughs> Well, all right, fishy folks, here is my 55 gallon planted community angelfish tank. I've had this tank now for years. It's gone through a couple changes. Uh, currently, it is my favorite. Uh, so you can see the two big angelfish in the front. I believe I have a pair. I've seen them cleaning. I haven't seen eggs, but there's a lot going on in this tank. So I'm not really looking to breed angelfish, but if it happens, it happens. Uh, also, there are quite a few uh, red and blue Columbia Tetras and Von Rio Tetras, which hopefully will be available on my website soon. I just got to get the listings up. They've made it through quarantine like champs. Uh, also, you can see a uh, German blue ram right there in the middle. Those are also on my website. And there is a gold ram as well in here. Uh, there's quite a few neons, both black neons and the standard blue and red neons. Um, there's a couple of plecos in here. Um, bushy nose or bristle nose, if you will. And uh, a bunch of quarries. Just uh, whatever quarries I have left over from shows that I do uh, or that I sell and I have, you know, onesies, twosies left, I put them in here. So... Um, there's probably about eight or nine of them, but they're kind of in the back chilling. Filtration is simple. Two aquarium co-op sponge filters take care of the biological filtration. And my brand new uh, CC internal uh, shark filter. It is just amazing. Um, now, yes, it was given to me by the company. I didn't even know it was coming, but... Uh, their marketing department asked around, and one of their uh, uh, one of their retailers suggested they send it to me. So right, right now I have it in spray bar mode, which I really love. So uh, it the the water is coming out from up top, and you know, kind of creating a current here. Uh, I have the filtration part, which is right here. Uh, you can see it's caught quite a bit of debris. This filter is virtually silent, and it does such a great job of cleaning the water. I mean, you know how lazy I'm like, you can see how low this is uh, and the water is pristine. Uh, it also, what I also love about this thing is it's a magnet and it works really well. Um, so I'm pretty happy. So let's talk about some of the plants. We got the, the swords, we got the, the other things. I don't know anything about the plants. There's a couple pieces of driftwood in there, obviously for the pluckles and I like the look. Um, you know, it is heated because it is a community tank. They do like it uh, pretty warm. Pretty sure all these guys are from the uh, South America. So we can call it a South American tank, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what this plant is. And do I trim it? It's it's kind of rooting in the air or in the water, I should say. So what kind of plant is that? What do I do? Feeding this is quite simple. Dr. Basileers, it's the best food out there. Um... This is just most of what I feed them. I like this Fritz glass and acrylic cleaner too. Uh, it's the only tank I really clean the glass. And believe it or not, I did clean the glass. Now that I'm looking at it through the camera, it looks meh, but I did clean it. Um, and like I said, I try to keep this tank pretty nice looking since it is in the kitchen. And uh, that's the family room in there. I think that, that, that about does it. Um, when you have a community tank set up, don't overthink it. Just make sure your fish uh, like the parameters that you're going to keep. And uh, don't get anything aggressive. Uh, the most aggressive things in here are probably the angels. I know, angels aggressive. Yeah, they're uh, cichlids and they're pretty aggressive. At least they can be. Uh, the rams would be aggressive if they were breeding. I'm pretty sure the German blue ram is a boy. And uh, I think the gold ram is a girl, but I'm not... I don't think they're going to be doing any funny business in here with everything that's going on. Uh, angelfish, if you don't know, they typically lay eggs on a vertical surface. Sometimes the heater or the sponge filter they might, the uh, lift tube for the sponge filter. Uh, if you have a intake 
or something like that for a canister filter. A lot of times they lay on those in community tanks. Rams, on the other hand, they like to lay uh, on flat surfaces. If I was breeding, I would put a, a dish in here or the bottom of a, a, a clay pot. And uh, that's where they would go. When I bred uh, rams before, that's what they did. So uh, most of these fish, actually all of these fish are tank bred. So I'm not overly concerned over, you know, they're South American fish. They must need, you know, low pH and soft water. I'm not really concerned. Uh, I, I mean, this tank is probably one of the healthiest, if not the healthiest tank I've had ever. It's just fantastic. Um, plants are doing well. I don't really do much to them. I do add some root tabs when I remember. Um, I like the Thrive root tabs. And that's it. I have liquid uh, fertilizer as well, but none of these plants are water feeders, so I don't use it. Um, like I said, I think that does it. Any comments or questions, let me know down below. If you think I should add mm -hmm. some species, let me know. And if you think I should add a plant or something that I don't know about, because I'm a plant dummy, let me know. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Take a keep an eye out for these filters when they're released. I don't think they're released yet. I don't think that the shipment has come uh, for the American sellers. I know uh, KG Tropicals keep fish keeping. Uh, we'll have them on their website. Um, John and Lisa are great guys, and well, great guy and gal. You know what I'm saying. All right, that does it. I'm rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya. So right now I have it in the, um, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, that's, that's a brain fart, folks. Well, all right, fishy folks. Here is my 55-gallon angelfish community tank. We've got the two big angelfish in it. A bunch of blue and red Columbia tetras, Von Rio tetras, uh, black neons, and regular neons there is a sexy german blue ram and a gold ram and i think she i think that's a female oh hi indy that was indy